Earthbound, the war against Gygus. Jesus Christ, we're already starting it off like this? Anyways, what is up my good people? The name is Pixel Love, and we are back again, back on the recording booth, and today we are playing Earthbound. Or at least I'm playing it. As you may have seen, and if you haven't, what are you doing? I have actually completed Earthbound Beginnings, which is, chronologically speaking, the first game in the franchise. And now I'm going on to... Um... Oh lord. And now I'm going on to be playing Earthbound, the actual game, the one that I actually wanted to play rather than Beginnings. The only reasons why I rather the only reason why I started with the Beginnings was because it was chronologically first, kind of like how I watched uh, The Phantom Menace as the first Star Wars film. Totally regret both of those doings by the way, but I'm finally glad that I'll be able to play Earthbound, something that an RPG that a lot of people have always like praised Commended and whatnot, and I'm finally glad I can put in a don't care. <laughs> I'm finally glad we can put in a don't care uh, option. That way I can get the default. <laughs> um, is is he good? Um, that way we can get the default names for each and every person, so I don't have to search it up. Hmm. I just I just heard I just heard that little that little sound after I pressed OK. Look look if I press OK you're gonna hear something. Yeah there you go. Damn straight steak let's go. What's my favorite thing? It's gaming. Close enough. Yes sir let's start this off. I cannot tell you how long I've actually been waiting to do this. I still have high expectations for this game, not gonna lie. Earthbound Beginnings did not deliver. Hopefully Earthbound does. But we're finally here, baby. I finally got the time. I'm no longer in school and whatnot. On net, a small town eagle land. Yeah, I finally got the time. I'm sitting down and I'm going to put in the hours and work and effort to beat this game. Ness's house. I don't think you're supposed to put in an apostrophe and then an S. I think you're just supposed to be putting just the apostrophe. And that's just the grammar nerd in me. I was about to say, is my man going to keep snoring? Is there like a run button? Oh, is this the... This is the auto check. Let's go! There's an auto check button! I already like this game. I would have thought there would be a run button though. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not too. Too into the game. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Hey bro, did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? Ooh la la, what do we got here? Uh, equip. It's still a little clunky. Not gonna lie, but I'm I, I already like it better than the first game. Do you think mom will let me stay up late tonight? I can't seem to fall back asleep. Honestly, after a crash like that, I wouldn't be surprised. What the hell was <laughs> her smile? Come on, come on. 
Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. <laughs> that smile. Your eyes are way too close there, buddy. Alright, what do you got here? I'm digging this auto check button. What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? No, mom, I'm not nuts. I'm Ness. Now you want to go check it out? No. Okay. Sneak out of your room anyway, even if I ask you not to. These change out of your gym. Hey, you know, pr props, props to you. You know, you're just like, you know what? He's gonna do it. No, no point in delaying the inevitable. I still want to know if there's like a run button. Whoops. I'm trying all the buttons over here. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? Jeez, I don't know. Beep. What, nothing? I can't talk to my dad? Be careful. Come home as soon as you can. You gotta, you gotta be in the classic uh, baseball cap and backpack. Gotta have that classic outfit as when you're a kid. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too serious. Jeez, I wonder why. Unnet police are infamous for closing roads if something is going on. They're going for the world record. <laughs> the world record. Don't panic, it's just a... What? Meteorite that who fell? I just want to... What? Go home? South to the suburbs of Onnit. Jeez, I like how there's just a clear sign over here that just tells you immediately. Yeah, this is the south to the suburbs of Onnit. Did you hear that big bang? I think a meteor landed nearby. Big bang? Big bang theory? Bazinga? Try to be the first to get there. Well, Chief, you're not going to be the first to get there if you're just going to be walking in place like that. Oh, hi. Pokey, my brother, ran, ran out of here to chase after a police car. He said, Picky, you should stay home. So I'm, wa so I'm watching it. <laughs> Picky and Pokey. <laughs> okay. You do you, I guess. I'm also glad I'm able to walk in eight directions now instead of four. I mean, yes, I technically could go in diagonals in Earthbound Beginnings, but it was a little bit more of a hassle. Is there just nothing here for me to pick? Nothing for me to collect? Also, why does this look like a second living room but with two beds on it? it this layout is so weird. So where do your parents sleep, bro? There's only two beds. Okay, so I clearly can't go anywhere but down here, so... Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home. Pronto. Man, what the fuck told you to, to tell me what I could do? What's good, Chief? A meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. The kids, you kids are wandering out, and I'm hungry. I hate my job. Well, Chief, uh, find a changing career, I guess. It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? Jeez, what is everyone in this town? So cynical. It's dangerous to go to go to the top hill. Hilltop. Take this! That's not Zelda, is it? It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Where is the fucking run button? Hey, you. Don't you know what time it is? Hey, buddy. Has anyone ever told you to, um, fuck off? 
bread. I'm bringing home the bread, Mom. Don't worry. Seriously, this lack of a run button is really pissing me off now. Treasure Hunter. This is Lear X Aggaritas? The fuck? Hey, Ness. Hi, buddy. Midra fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to my bottom. Make my body strong. Alright, Wario. However, the weaker city instance probably fainted. So I want to tell you. Whoops. I almost told you about my. Uh, by the way, Ness, did you check my. <sighs> what? The... what? Hey, are, are we skipping a beat? Did, did I miss something? What's he hiding? That meteorite looks different than usual. It's strange. <laughs> What do you mean it looks dis what do you mean it looks different than usual? I have more meteorites just falling down here than normal? It's changing marvelous as well as mysterious. Ooh. Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Um do I wanna be the asshole me in this game or do I wanna be more wanna be more friendly? Ah, fuck it. And you live in the house next to his, I see. Wait a minute, I can... <laughs> You're not friends, but aren't you neighbors? Come on, help me out. <laughs> shh, shh. Pokey, get out of the way. Clear, clear out, get out of the way. Clear out, get out of the way. Clear out, get out of the way. Clear out, get out of my way. Whoops, my mistake. I mean, get out of my way! Hey, Ness. Don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. Oops. I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey... Oh, what's was good, Freddy? Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. Fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Alright, you fat piece of lard. Fuck off! Now, how do we get all the way over there? I genuinely can't think of another way to get up there other than... Other other than nothing. I, I genuinely just can't think of anything else. I don't know what time it is. Get you. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm just kind of stuck. Do I just have to go home now? Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Let's go off to bed now. Fine. Dun -na -dun -na -dun -na -dun -na <laughs> the classic knock. Dun 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 dun. Hey, Chief. Chill the fuck down. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. You're telling me. Hi, Len. Who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer? Oh, you're literally down here on the first floor. And you can't bother opening the door. I'm just gonna... Oh, poor king. Hey. Uh, uh. Listen to what I've got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteor landed. Oh, good evening, man. You're looking lovely as. A... Oh my god. Anyway, as I was saying, the police are regarding the meteor landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks? They're the local ruffians. And they're really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Picky was gone. I blamed the cops. This certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my best friends. Won't you help me find Picky? <sighs> For fuck's sakes. I have to help this fat piece of lard. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't we say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, man? Is he like... Fucking Carl Weezer from the Adventures of Jimmy Neutron? He's always gonna be talking about my mom. I know that the dog is unreliable, but you should take King along. The crackback in chase rooms could help out at times like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous strong boy. You're, very own nat you're my very own natural born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. I think you should, 
change out your gems before I leave. I'm sorry, but like, there has to be some level of irresponsibility for you to just be like, yes, yeah, son, you know what? Go out into the world like this. Like, how old is Ness supposed to be? Do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. Hey, let's go. Let's go. No. Let's go! I got King with me! Alright, you go out in front and I'll fall out of seat. Jesus Christ. Oh, what? So they're technically not a part of my party? It's just me? Hello, it's your dad. Right to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like that? Just remember, I'm always behind you, 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave, you can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. Make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Let's fucking go! You have your ATM card? I don't have my ATM card though. Beep. Okay. Anyways, he said we we're supposed to go over to Meteorite Landed now. Oh! So what? These are no longer. They're, they're no longer random encounters? Are you kidding me? Whoa, 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 I'm already da I'm already down, like, quite a lot of HP in here. Alright, I guess I leveled up. Or at least I have life up now. Should I take advantage of these early fights? I feel like I should. And I'm also still pissed off that there's no... Fucking run button! I'm clicking everything here! Right, bucko! You're toast. And Pokey's in fucking useless! I was about to say innocent, but he's not innocent. He's just fucking useless. The combat right now seems a little bit more passive than in Earthbound Beginnings. At least with Earthbound Beginnings, I felt like I was fucking doing damage and shit. Here it just kind of feels like I'm playing uh, one of those idle RPG games. The enemy left a present! There's a cookie! Oh, that's right, I have cookies, so I don't have to use life up right away. Maybe I should have used bread? Maybe if I could fucking run! One fucking XP? Are you kidding me? Oh, these guys are useless! I'm seriously just wasting my HP just trying to kill these guys. I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. That's my man. Man. Wasn't there a meteorite over there? Oh, oof. If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. What? Ah, uh, you pussy! You're kidding me! What? Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. I'm glad you're okay at least. Let's go home. 
I bet mom and dad are worried and sick about us. Gee, sometimes I wonder which one of us is a real big brother. Pokey and Picky. The fucking names these guys have. Caution. There are still lots of fires burning here, and it's hot. Ness? Do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? No. Come on, you must hear it. Okay, now I hear it. Just came out of the meteorite? A bee, I am. Not. I'm from 10 years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This I believe. Oh, I thought he was going to say this I believe not. <laughs> Gygus' monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things that are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Oh, well, we already have three dudes on us. All we just need to find is some chick and then boom, we're, we're golden, aren't we? Go now and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? I hate to go over it again, but I guess I'll start over. We'll be here till sunrise. Oh my god, he actually is going over it again. What the fuck? It was a joke, buddy. <laughs> it was a joke. Fine, I did listen to what you said. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. I don't know, Chief. I just trolled you and said that I didn't listen at all and you still gave me the whole fucking lecture. What, is he gonna join my party or something? Oh my fucking god, he is. Buzz Buzz now joins you. Ness! Looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh... I'm not one of those three, am I? Cause I'm not into this I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. What happens if I die right now? Is Buzz Buzz just gonna fuck off and be like, Alright, that was my last chance to save humanity, you dare fuck. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus' plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Starman Jr.? And he died, just like that. Hey, at least I leveled up. The fuck is Vitality? IQ? Holy shit! Are you telling me if I just beat up people, my IQ can be raised? Dude, that's Bog. Whew. He's taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so he can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygus' influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Um, sure, I guess, if I have to listen. I mean, I guess I have to listen because this man really just teleported 10 years in the f from the future just to fucking kill me, so. 
I'm not gonna talk with you. <laughs> I am really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. gotta love parenting don't you kids you gotta love it when people do that by the way i would be happy if left sometime soon <laughs> i'm tired of your family <laughs> bro <laughs> there's no way you just said that your family lives in poverty because of my family i'm much too woman i need you to like Step back six feet away from me. Nice guys finish last. I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts up. Wow. Wow. No. Buddy. Are you still with me? <laughs> I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See you in hell. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus, your own powers must unite with the Earth. Okay, so you can... You can just fall down here and just make it sound like you're fucking dying, like you've just been shot, but you're just like, let me just give you a monologue real quickly. Now, right before I die, I'm going to just give you this monologue. <laughs> the earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Ana. It's called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? No. I see. I apologize. I guess I didn't explain well enough. For fuck's sakes, dude! It was a joke! It's a fucking joke. I don't need you to be telling me this all over again! Alright. You're a very intelligent young man, and... Oh, the pain! Everything is getting dark! Oh. <laughs> Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the soundstone. <laughs> the soundstone. Are you telling me you fucking had a stone? With somebody the size of you had a stone on you. You can record the melodies from your the eight your sanctuary locations into the stone. It is an awesome item. Also, as soon as you said soundstone, I'm I'm starting to think like infinity stones. What, am I going to get the video stone next? Am I going to get the ec the recording stone third? By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? No. Good. It's already done outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fainting fast. <laughs> okay, you're just going to do that quick little jingle as soon as this man dies. Actually, I don't even know if you can call it this man. It's a fly. A bee. Whatever. But he really just died. And he just disappeared. Ah, I'm so tired. Nag, nag, nag. Yeah, I don't want to be near your wife. Like, anywhere near. I also genuinely cannot believe you just said you wanted my family gone. Mind you. Look at your house. It does not look like you're living in poverty, G. <laughs> um, okay. Pictures taking instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph it will always bring back the fondest memories interesting
You know what? I'm gonna just do this. There is a chance for a surprise opening. Fuck off, bucko! Oh shit. Hey, let's go! I actually don't know what to expect about this interesting introduction to Earthbound, so I think I will leave it off here. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Pixel Love, Memento Mori, and whatnot, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody.